Welcome into the At Flippin' Hippo's YouTube channel. I'm Star of the Flippin' Hippo. Today is Monday, November 23rd, and because it's a Monday, that means it's time for what sold on eBay. Just like every week, guys, we're going to go on a walk through our Instagram photos from the week to show you our shipping photos from each day to give you an idea of how sales are going and how volume is. And then we will jump on over to eBay where I've picked out some highlights from the week, exciting sales, bolo items, and good solid bread and butter items that we sell all the time. All things that you can be looking for when you're outsourcing. Let's jump right on in where we're at. You're looking at today's shipping photo. 37 items. This is the best weekend we have had in forever, ever. Forever, ever. Like, <laughs> This is the best weekend of Q4. This is the best weekend probably since before summer slowdown. Um, last spring we had some really good weekends where we had like 50 items right when Keith came and um, joined me full time. But we haven't had we haven't had a great Q4. Most folks haven't. We had some weekends where we were barely hitting 18. Now just to kind of give you an idea, historically our sell through rate is 0.5%. And since our store is primarily used clothing, that's actually pretty good. And so we should be having right around 10 sales a day, give or take, maybe 10 to 12. So a good weekend, a normal weekend for us would be 30 sales from Friday through Monday. And when we don't even hit 30, that means we've had a very slow weekend. When we hit 30, it's an average weekend. And Q4, we should be doing way more. So being above 30 finally for the first time in Q4 is pretty exciting. I was hoping to hit more towards 40, 50, 60 during Q4, but we will see, you guys, if this is uh, if this is the pattern and we're going to keep selling more every weekend, which it actually has been like the last five weekends. Each weekend was steadily getting better, you know, and on the back end, we're listing every single day. We're keeping our store active. We're doing all of those best practice things I teach you guys about all the time. And it's paying off. So 37 items were sold and we shipped those out in 34 packages. We had one um, big purchase on eBay, which I'm gonna show you. And then we had two sales on Poshmark. Last Monday we had 29, 26 were eBay and three were Poshmark. Tuesday we had 10. Wednesday we had six, and then Thursday I forgot to post. You can see here we had um, nine. And then on Friday we had five. So Friday was pretty slow, but it was kind of up and down all week and then ended in a great weekend. I'm totally stoked to be above 30 again. It's been a while. We had a couple weekends under 20, and then we just kind of were climbing a little bit from there. All right, let's go over to the sales. We'll start with the plush uh, because I love plush. They're my favorite, so we'll just do them first. This is a vintage My Little Pony. It's a softy, so that's a particular um, name they had for the plush ponies in the 80s and 90s. That was back when ponies were first out and they were the hard dolls that we're also used to and so the first plush were called softies you can see that there Hasbro softies so this is a vintage pony this is cotton candy and you guys if you ever have a pony and you don't know who she is um, these are called their cutie marks c-u-t-i-e you can go to google and put my little pony cutie mark balloon my little pony cutie mark apple pie whatever your horse or your pony has on her tush, and then it'll tell you which pony you have. So this is Cotton Candy. She actually was 50 cents at the Goodwill, and she sold for $21.24 and shipped first class. Next up, we have this musical sheep or lamb from uh, the Family Christian Stores, and it does play Jesus Loves Me. So this is a religious plush, and... Every religious plush I've ever had, I've done really well with. They sell pretty fast for good money. And this lamb was 50 cents at the Goodwill. And she um, 
sold for $23.43. I did ship her in a box because um, her wind up is a plastic key. Can you see it? And I was kind of concerned about that plastic key getting um, destroyed or broken off during shipping. It's connected to a square box inside of the plush. So we just shipped her in a box just to be safe, especially since they paid so much for her. Next up is a Build-A-Bear Chipette. I believe Chipette came from Goodwill. And she's cute. Um, she sold for best offer 15. I don't know why I had to tell you she's cute. She is cute. And she's naked. I do have some other um, in my death pile or my stockpile I'm building in case of a shutdown. I have some other of the chipmunks that actually have their little outfits on. So I'm kind of excited to get those up since a naked one sells for 15 This is just a piece of uh, poop. <laughs> this is a keychain thing. The uh, two boxes of mystery plush that I purchased and opened with Robert uh, live on here. And then we did one on his channel. I, we had a couple of these poop plush in the boxes. We had good ones too. We had Pokemons and Harry Potter. But I had two of these like unicorn puffy things with one had a pink ball, one had a blue ball. Um, I went ahead and listed everything I got in those lots. I figured why not? It's bread and butter, it's filler. And, um, once, you know, a couple of the Pokemon sell, they're paid for. So this sold for $9.37 in ship first class. Next up, we have an Angry Bird. This, I want to say came out of a wholesale, but I can't remember because I think I might have got it at the Goodwill. Uh, this bird is good because it's unique, but he didn't work. He's supposed to have sound. He did not have sound. Um, but the regular red birds, like the more common ones from angry birds are the ones that don't do so well. These, these ones like him that are different or the different characters from Rio or Star Wars, angry birds in space. Uh, those ones are the ones that do good. But since he didn't have sound, I listed him kind of low and I did take a best offer of 1079 and he shipped first class. Next up we have Baloo from the Jungle Book. This is a Disney Zoom Zoom. So if you guys are familiar with these, these little ones are real small. He he weighed like an ounce. Um, he was 50 cents at the Goodwill. He sold for $8.43, shipped first class. Super cute. Here's a squeezable cat. This also came out of the mystery boxes that I purchased to open with Robert. This one I took a best offer of $8 on and it shipped first class. Then we have a Gans Webkin's Frog, no code, and he sold for $9.99. He was $0.50 cents at the Goodwill and shipped first class. Then we have a Thai Beanie Baby Whopper, the Elephant. This is the Velvet Thai or Velvet Tea. Um, let me show you the tag. The shell is 100% Velvet Tea. Whopper was 50 cents at the Goodwill, sold for $10.99 and shipped first class. And then we have this teddy bear and I can honestly tell you I have no idea where this came from. It's so old. It probably came from a big bag of plush we bought years ago at a thrift store we no longer go to. He sold for $8.99, shipped first class. All right, so that was all of the plush that we sold last week and we're going to get into the clothes now. So here's some Lucky Brand jeans. Lucky Brand's a really good solid bread and butter brand. It used to be a bolo, but it unfortunately was raised to the bottom. So it now sells for anywhere from 20 to 26. I do remember a time when I used to sell Lucky Brand jeans for 40 bucks. This is why I preach don't do that fast nickel. Don't race to the bottom because brands can get completely destroyed. Anyway, I still consider them a good solid bread and butter brand. I paid 99 cents for this pair. They sold for 22. 
and I believe that these may have even been first class. Yes, they were. So they didn't even go in a padded flat. Better yet, they were cheaper to ship. Next up, we have some Hugo Boss Men's Virgin Wool Black Pleated Dress Slacks. These came out of the wholesale lot. Their cost was right around two bucks for the pants. They were new with tags, so Hugo Boss is not that exciting of a brand. It's not a bolo or anything, but the fact that this is 100% virgin wool and new with tags makes this particular pair of pants a bolo for sure. Wool is one of those materials that's good to look for, and new with tags is even better. I did take a best offer on the Hugo pants of $50, 50 dollars five zero fifty. And they shipped first class. Next up, we have some J. Crew jeans. Um, and I'm going to show you all four that the woman bought. So there's J. Crew, Rue 21, Paper Denim and Cloth, and Bongo. Now we have sales set up in our store where if they spend X amount of money, they get 25% off. And so this woman um, took advantage of that, which is awesome. We have that sale running all the time around the clock um, every day of the week. And we've been running it for a couple of years. And it doesn't get a lot of hits, but when it does, people will buy like a lot, like four pairs of jeans or five tops. So it's a, it's a nice sale to have and all running on the back end um, because... You know, maybe not a lot of takers, but when people do take advantage of it, they really get a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I think it's set to they have to spend over $25, I believe, to get the discount. So she bought the um, Bongo here, which is a, not really that great of a brand. Paper Denim and Cloth, Rue 21, and J. Crew. And I think all these three came from a thread up box. And then the J. Crew I would have picked up at the Goodwill for 99 cents. She spent a total of $67.55 for all four pairs with shipping and all in. I added up the cost of the jeans on their own. They would have been $72.66. So she technically saved $5.11 overall. It averaged out to $16.88 per pair for all four. And here's the best part. It cost us $8 to ship all four. We put them in a um, large box, a large mailing box. And I made it pretty with tissue paper and kind of folded it all in four and real nice. They weren't going that far. And by weight, it was like $8 and some cents to ship. And if we had sold all of these separately, we may have gotten $5 and 11 more cents overall. That she saved by buying bulk, but we would have been paying um, $32 to ship everything. So we saved $24 on shipping by her bundling like this. I always love when they do this. So consider that on your back end. It's a different sale than the markdown sale. It's uh, They call it the BOGO. And you can choose your parameters. Like they can buy two, get one free, or spend X amount and get X percent off. Consider doing that because, again, it doesn't affect any of your other sales that you have going on. If you have, like, the 20% off or 10% off, it does not affect that. But um, it's just kind of sitting there, and every once in a while, people will take advantage of it, and it's great. All right, next up, these current Elliot's came out of a thread up. So they would have averaged out to about $1.70, $1.78 maybe, and I took a best offer of 20 and I believe, yep, they shipped first class as well. So these um, smaller sizes are nice because they're less to ship. These had cute hems. And next up, we have an LL Bean button front shirt. Came out of a wholesale lot. This is a wrinkle-free one. This one averaged out to a dollar a piece per item in that lot. And this sold for $28.12 and shipped first class. We the Free, this came out of a wholesale lot. Average cost was $2 per piece in that lot. 
And I would say probably you want to look out for We The Free clothing. This is a Henley thermal um, long sleeve shirt. Sold for $21.99 and shipped first class. Christian Dior, this came out of a wholesale lot. Average cost was a buck per piece in that lot. And um, Christian Dior and L.L. Bean aren't really brands that we would technically look for when we're outsourcing. In fact, we've probably passed on them before. But when they come in a wholesale lot where each item is like a dollar or two bucks, uh, we go ahead and list them and we're getting good prices for them. This one sold for $22.79, shipped first class. Billabong shorts, average cost $2 per piece of item um, in the wholesale lot that these Billabong shorts came out of. These are um, really nice. If you guys didn't know, if you have clothing with the British flag, you can put Union Jack as a keyword. That's what they call their flag. And that'll help you sell it. It's a good keyword to use. So these sold for $20 on a best offer and shipped first class. North Face men's button front shirt. This is a vented one as well. Uh, average cost per piece of per piece of item. This came out of a wholesale lot and averaged out to two dollars. <laughs> there you go. North Face is okay to sell on eBay as long as it is used. They've really cracked down on any new with tags North Face. I know I've talked about that before, but just in case you didn't see that video or hear me say it, um, North Face does actually hire people to sit on the internet and find items that are being sold on eBay and other platforms new with tags. They had some issues in the past with employees stealing items and then trying to resell them. So they do really crack down on that. They actually employ people and pay them to find people selling their new with tags items online. However, you're good if you're selling used because it's clearly not stolen. <laughs> if you know, it doesn't have tags. So I always um, avoid the tag, the new with tags North Face. Some people say you're okay on Poshmark with that, but I don't like to take the risk. So I just stick with um, used North Face. Okay, here's an Eli Pearl Snap shirt. I just showed this to you guys out of wholesale lot that I got from Greg. And the average cost per item in that lot was right around a dollar. And this is a good brand to look for, so let me show you the tag. Eli has um, several different lines, but you'll see Eli Plains or Eli Cattlemen. Um, all good. Good to find. We took a best offer of 20 on this one and it shipped first class. These are CP jeans. These came out of a thread up, so I'd never heard of them. And they sold for $23.46. And they shipped in a padded flat. Next up is some Springfield Classic Men's Shorts. These came out of a wholesale lot. They were about two bucks. Uh, if you've been watching our What Sold videos every week, you saw a bunch of men's jeans and shorts that were paint splattered, acid wash, all those different brands that I was learning about that came in that box. The, this pair of shorts was also in that same box. So these have like the neat little patches on them and stuff. These sold for $19.99. I believe they went in a pad of flat. They did. Yeah, a lot of the men's shorts like this, especially like the size 42, they're going to be heavier. You go have to go like a pair of jeans would. Next up, I have a pair of Express jeans. This is not that great of a brand. I normally probably would pass on it, but it came to me in a thread up box. Uh, so I figured I'd consider, you know, listing it and getting at least my money back. Sold them for $19.99 and they shipped uh, first class. So I know you guys um, see me sell some brands that are like, well, I probably wouldn't source it. But if it comes in a thread up box or a wholesale box and I've already put the money in, I might as well list it. And $19.99 isn't too bad, especially for a brand like Express. Next up, we have some vintage Tommy Hilfiger jeans. These came out of a wholesale lot, right around two bucks cost. 
These have the big flag on them. That's how you know they're vintage. And you can put big flag patch as a keyword. These I took a best offer of $32.50. And they did ship in a padded flat. Here we have another J. Crew item. This one is a men's sweater. This is cashmere blend. So it's fancy because it's cashmere. Um, J. Crew actually does pretty good on Poshmark. Um, it's a little more trendy over there, but it does okay on, on eBay. This one was new with tags and cashmere. Cost a buck out of a wholesale lot. Sold for best offer of 20 and shipped first class. Next up, we have a Nike Pittsburgh Steelers women's jersey. Um, this is number 10, Cordell. I'm acting like I know sports. I don't know anything. I know how to read a shirt. Number 10 in Stewart. Um, this was about two bucks out of a wholesale lot. Sold for $28.50. Shipped first class. And here's a Wrangler Windbreaker. Came out of a wholesale lot as well. This one was about two bucks per piece in there. This has um, George Strait Cowboy Cut Collection by Wrangler, new with tags. The tags are still attached. You can see the original price was $48.99. And it's a pullover windbreaker, so it's not like a button-up jacket or anything. Um, sold for best offer of 20 and shipped first class. And then here's a Nautica polo shirt. Again, this is kind of like falls in line with the L.L. Bean and the Christian Dior. It's kind of a, mm, I don't know, brand. Like I'd probably pass on it at the Goodwill. But it came in a wholesale lot and also had stains on it. And you can see we disclosed that there in the photo and um, in the description. Small light stain. So we listed this, it cost us about a dollar and sold for $17.99, shipped first class. And I wanted to show you guys a little Christmas tree ornament. Uh, summer of 2019, I went to a yard sale and purchased a box full of Christmas ornaments for I believe it was two bucks and then there was a box full of Christmas coffee mugs for five bucks. Both boxes were chock full and as stuff started to sell towards Christmas of 2019 when I first started listing it. Um, actually I think I listed it in July of that year because I remember making the joke about Christmas in July. A um, couple of the things sold out of each box and paid for itself. Like I said this box was full. It was only like two bucks. And I still have ornaments in there that are still trickling out and selling. So it's just gravy now. Um, because the box um, had Hallmark in it. And those sold really fast. And the Hallmark ornaments paid. Well, the first Hallmark ornament that sold paid for the whole box for the two bucks. And everything else is just profit. And so some of it's taking a lot longer to sell and sitting around. But as we get towards Christmas, I have a feeling that more of them might start to sell. The ones that I have left. This one sold for $8.44, shipped first class. And then last but not least, this week we did sell our Eeyore Life of the Party figurine. We got this actually at a stuff a box sale. And I wanted I wanted to say that I remember this being five dollars, but I also remember him being in a box at a church where we had all this stuff in a box. And you, they were charging you like a couple of bucks, five bucks for everything you get into the box. But he may have been special because he was different. Um, anyway, that's how long he's been around. And here's why. Because he's got a crack in his antler. I really think he would have sold, excuse me, he would have sold a lot faster. And for more money, had his antler not been damaged. See it? But he did sell, finally, for $53.99, plus they paid shipping. Um, so all in, the buyer paid $81.59 in total 
for this Eeyore figurine that was damaged. So I can only imagine um, if he hadn't have been damaged, I probably could have gotten more like 80 for him and then shipping on top of that. But I'll take the $53.99, get him moving to his new home. He is a Christmas Eeyore, which is probably why he's now selling this time of year. He's really cute. And he came with all of his original packaging and the original box and styrofoam and everything. So he was really super easy to ship. He was inside like that nested styrofoam inside of the box. And then we just put him in another box and padded it out. And off he went to his new forever home. All right, guys, let me know down in the comments how things are going for you. Um, how are your sales? I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out. It really helps the channel. Subscribe. And help us feed a hungry hippo, guys. And join our Facebook group. It's called Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. You can search for that on Facebook or use the link down below. Until next time, go be productive. Go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.